Avant d'être mentor, j'ai été menti et j'ai trouvé dans ce moment un espace confortable pour me développer et prendre soin de moi durant ma mission. Muchas veces en terreno te sientes solo, muchas veces te gustaría tener alguien eh, un apoyo o un apoyo incluso extra y yo creo que ese es el, el valor que tenemos los, los mentores. Uh, and I, I would have loved to have a mentor, not because I was a bad field coach, but because I could have learned much quickly, lose less time um, and struggle less. J'aurais voulu que mon mentor soit avec moi pour partager des fois euh, mon, mon questionnement et puis aussi ce que mon poids sur mes épaules. It was very fruitful to um, have that person shadow and actually give an objective feedback on, on how you work, how you perform, how, you, how somebody perceives you. Um, give some suggestions, some ideas for improvement, um, but actually uh, it builds confidence and I think that was the most important. And when I was a PC from outside on my first mission, I asked myself often, is this normal for MSF or am I it that I was weird? And I had to have someone by me where I could fall on back. J'ai eu la chance to have a mentor when I started my mission, my first mission with MSF. Et j'ai pu, à des moments d'incertitude, de, de doute euh, ou d'isolement, faire référence justement à cette personne-là pour, euh, pour pouvoir partager euh, mon expérience. In Sierra Leone, during the Ebola emergency, where the workload was very high, everyone was extremely stressed all the time. And I think it, it would have been helpful for me to have had someone that I can talk to who could give me a little bit of advice and to take a bit of time out from what was a pretty busy schedule to reflect on uh, my experiences and the challenges there.